I'm not gonna lie to you. If I'm him mm. and I'm saying, peg me like the bad bitch I am with this mentality, mm. and out of those 500, someone actually comes back and says, hell yeah. Mm. Oh! Oh! It's going off! It's going off, and I'm lubed up! I, I'm gassed! <laughs> Fuhan, I'm gassed! <laughs>going on yo people what's going on it's monday fun day hey i see someone comment one time like our biggest ick when you call monday fun day i didn't even see that i didn't see that but couldn't care less i'm glad you didn't see it and yeah <laughs> fuck that person <laughs> fuck that person monday fun day it is monday start fun your day. week right with us you know it's the best way and only way to do it and if you're like james like you said we drop on a monday you'll listen on a tuesday so maybe start your week tomorrow as well yeah man so um Guys, you may have heard through the grapevine that we hit a million on TikTok the other day. So to take a second and self-congratulate, we're different now. Your boys are built different now. Um, Your boys take to platforms like a virus. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like an Omicron thing. Yeah. SNG Omicron. (laughs) Yeah, we jump on this. What's this? Oh, yeah. What's TikTok? What's that? Let me let me let me, let me try let that. Me Just dibble a quick dabble. Dig dig dig. Oh no, we're infectious now. Oh, yeah. Oh wow, it's so much easier to get followers on here. <laughs> a million. Is that good? <laughs> such a fucking idiot. A million. Is that good? Is that a ballpark figure? Yeah. What's what's good for a TikTok? I don't understand. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't know. Like five thousand is pretty good. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, we're clear. Yeah, we're clear. Oh shit. Sorry. Run me the next platform. <laughs> What's the next one? <laughs> oh, What's the next shit. one? Because TikTok's completed. Uh, it's, it's done. Check, check, check. Yeah, check, 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 check. <laughs> it's done. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's all thanks to you guys. Yeah, um, TikTok has blessed us and allowed us to reach out to so many of you. And that's the reason that you're listening to us today. So mm-hmm. uh, thanks to TikTok. Thank you, you guys. And uh, yeah, man, it's it's been a fun ride. And 22 and 2 is going all right so far. Yeah, it's going great. So that this year will be... I feel like will be our best year. Not like, not even just from the three years we've been doing the pod or the two and a half we've been doing the pod, but just our best years. Period, bro. Oh, bro! It's twenty twenty two is going to be the best year I've lived. Period, best year, and that's thankfully down to you guys, man. Um, you guys have done so much for us. You've done so much for me. Done so much for him, and it's you've done so much for yourselves as well. Like you guys have caused and created a community as well. That like every Monday or every Thursday, you guys are just tuned in laughing with us, sending us messages, you know, building relationships. And it's just, it's lovely to see, man. And we thank you guys um, in abundance. And it's, um, yeah, man, we just, it's one of them ones. It's, you, you are our appreciation for the day. And it's, um, it doesn't go unnoticed, obviously. It never will. Doesn't and go unnoticed. I love when people say that. Yeah. Doesn't go unnoticed. It never will go unnoticed. It actually doesn't go unnoticed. It never will go unnoticed. Um, Honestly, yeah, man. you guys changed our lives. You've changed our lives so much. And it's only been so little so far. We've changed our lives so oh, much. Gang. It's, in, it's incredible. Also, to add to that, um, thank you for all the... I see it's not... By the time this comes out, this is, this is like a future thank you because this comes out next week and it's already happened. So future thank you. Thank you for all the birthday messages. My boy's 31. Bro, your birthday's in a couple of days, yeah. bruv. I didn't even think about it yeah. because we're celebrating it so far down yeah. the line. I didn't even think your birthday's yeah. in a couple of days. Yeah, my birthday's on Thursday, bro. But this would have aired by from after my birthday. Wow. Um, I remember when we did it last year in the others do. Bro, if I would have clocked that, I'm so sorry. I would have done something. Don't, fam, don't. don't. One, don't be sorry. And two, don't surprise me like that again. <laughs> man, wait. That's <laughs> mad, bro. Your birthday's in three days. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. 31, bro. 31's old as fuck. Bro, I'm the oldest in our group. It's, it, you are the oldest in our group yeah. by a couple months. I'm the second, right? Yeah, then, yeah. then it's me. Yeah. Yeah, it's shit though, isn't it? Like... Jay said it a couple a little while ago. Like who who do you know that's thirty one? <laughs> no one. No one's ever met anyone who's thirty one. Thirty one. Ah, uh, it's um. I'm actually getting old, man. We 31. are Thirty one. We are old. You know how I know we're old? Because um, to let you guys in as an insight. So obviously we wanted to celebrate this uh, milestone, the million milestone. So we're gonna go out, mm. but it's not gonna happen. It will happen the day this airs. Yes, when this airs. So it's happening out. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> So tonight we're going out to celebrate. Yeah. And in my head, I wanted to do up the celebration yeah, yeah. in it. 
But what my do up looks like yeah. now, yeah. in comparison to what my do up looked like five years ago, yeah. is different. <laughs> so I'm different. thinking tattoo, some dim sum, yeah, 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 a, yeah. a bar. <laughs> Nice music yeah, background. Nice yeah, yeah. Comfy seating. Hundred <laughs> percent. I was thinking about sitting down already. <laughs> Comfy seating. <laughs> Where before I'd be thinking about bottles and bitches. That's it. The bees Five years and the ago? bees. Yeah. Yeah. The magical bees. <laughs> bottles and bitches. That's all we needed. Mm. That's all bottles, we needed. bitches, and bunda. <laughs> That's what five years ago. That's all I was concerned yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, now I'm yeah. thinking about like where can I lay my head to rest <laughs> at, at what time? Yeah, and, and we what need, time? Yeah, I need to make sure we're out of the 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 function mm. in time before shit starts closing mm. food wise. Because mm-hmm. I need a little scrummy scrum mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. we hit the sheets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We have to, of course. We're old fam. We are, man. Uh, it's um, it's such a weird concept. And 30, 31, like it makes it seem as if like. You're, your life ends at 50 kind of thing, but it's, your body feels it so early, man. Fam? Your body feels it so early. My knees, bro. No, man, my back, my knees are fine. My back's fucked, but only my left knee recently. I've had good knees for years. Yeah. And out of nowhere, bro, my knee just started hurting the other day and I was thinking, I guess it's just my time for my knees, bro. I'm out here, do you know how many rehab pages I follow on Instagram, bro? Oh my God. (laughs) That's hilarious. Do you know how many mobility and functional and longevity pages mm. I follow on Instagram is a joke, bro. <laughs> That's hilarious. I just I can't just hop out of bed in the morning. Yeah. I need to warm up before I do anything. Oh my days. Oh I'm tired, my days. bro. I've yeah, been doing this. Um... Tell a lie actually. I've been doing this. You'll like this. I might actually send it to you. Okay. I'm putting it out there. Disclaimer. Mm. If it works for you, it works for you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Mm. Your boy's been doing this warm up. I designed it myself. Okay. But it's basically just like a prehab stroke warm up for my back. Okay. That I do every session I've been in the gym okay. for the last three weeks. I haven't missed a session without doing this back routine. Okay. I do this. I do a pretty much similar stretch every single session before I do a gym. Fam, if I train, it takes. Well me, I'm not gonna lie to you. It it takes a good six seven minutes to get mm-hmm. it done. Good. It's worth it. Good. And afterwards, your back feels amazing, and you're ready for the workout. I like that, man. But on the plus side. My back has been feeling real good the last... I've been doing it for about three weeks. This week, like the last seven days or so, mm. my back's been feeling fantastic. Okay. Like, I'm talking good, bro. Oh, right. I'm Lower not ready back. to deadlift yet, but I'm talking it's been good, bro. Okay. And, like, before, like, little things like putting my socks in the morning, having to, like, bend over mm. like that, my back was fucking hurting, oh, fam. Oh, Jesus. But I did that. I only noticed that progress when I did this the other day mm. and my back felt fine. Mm. and before do you remember when we used to record Mm -hmm. I'd say my back's killing me Mm -hmm. and you'd always see me arch up like Mm -hmm. this like Mm -hmm. my back feels fine now Mm. so I'm going to keep going good and I might actually make it more difficult because it's like it's working out they're they're exercises they're not just stretches they're exercises okay so um, I might make it a little bit more difficult from now up the reps or whatever but fam touch wood your boy's feeling good I might be on the mend (laughs) calm I might be on the mend I'll send you send send you send me the routine I'll send you the program G send me the program G yeah, um, man, that sounds, that sounds so very yeah, interesting. So yeah, guys, this year's going well. Your boys are now breaking into the uh, the guest space now. Yeah, that'll be coming up very soon in our repertoire. So be looking out for that. Um, Touchwood, we're gonna have all the guests that you love, all the guests that you don't even know about. Yeah, man, and it's just gonna be a very very fun year with S and G. Yeah, a man. very fun year with S and G. Drake so. is a strong maybe. <coughs> <coughs> don't hold yeah. your breath. Don't hold your breath, but also you never know. Drake's a strong man. You never know. We might get Mr. Nocter himself in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. You never so, know. Yeah, we yeah, we reached out to his people. <laughs> Ye is on the fence. Ye is definitely on the fence. Ye is on the fence, but Ye, you never know to the yeah, day before with Yeah, Ye. exactly. Because he could say yes today and say fuck you tomorrow. Yeah, so, so we we're don't on know. the fuck you side now. Currently, yeah. But <laughs> give it give it some time yeah Millie on TikTok he's gonna see us he will, he's he, gonna form you know, a, a rapport you know, without you know. even knowing he'll be tweeting in caps lock about us soon yeah yeah, never yeah, know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah 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 let's just wait and see so and then so Ye is on the fence Drake's a strong maybe strong maybe and um you never know bro yeah man Brad just... Pitt is a confirmed yes <laughs> for middle to end of Q4 <laughs> So long story short, we've got guests lined yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, there's guests lined up. There's guests lined up. We're not going to spoil the shit for you yeah, by man. polluting you with like every other episode there's someone yeah. on. It's going to be like once a month, once every six weeks. 
once every two months, just sporadic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Whenever we want to do it, yeah, we'll whenever, do it. We, when, whenever, whenever we want to do it, it, we'll do that's it. That's when it's going to no happen. No pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of them things, Dessa. It's just about what we want to do. And yeah, then we'll yeah, go yeah, from yeah, there. Yeah. That's what but it yeah, is. Yeah, man. Um, hopefully, I'll be fun for you guys. And yeah, man, we're just in, engulf the back and forth and we just keep going from there. Yeah, man. Um, on top of that, guys, mm. you already know what to do. Oh, yeah. So if you're watching this on the silver screen, <laughs> what you want to do, for starters, is flick that that bell no, no um, two, two fingers, fingers of death, of death you know, ring the, the bell the notification bell to make sure you know every single time we post okay because it's not just Mondays and it's not just Thursdays anymore we've got Patreon clips drop in sporadically so you never, you're never gonna know unless you click the button yeah man and sometimes we might be feeling frisky and throw you a bonus episode sometimes we might be feeling loopy and throw in a vlog you never know what's going to happen. You so you need to ring know. the bell so you know every single time we you drop something for you guys. Know. As always, guys, if you like the video, if you like the episode, then get on there and like the episode. And as always, guys, chirp, 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 chirp. Get those comments and chirps a ting. Chirps we need the ting, breeding man. grounds. <laughs> white robes and Yeezys, okay? Log cabin <laughs> in the forest, white robes, Yeezys, and use. That's, that's the, indoctrinated that's the use. Uni- that's the uniform. <laughs> White robes and Yeezys, nothing else. Yeah, bro. Oh, that's there you hilarious. Go. Ankle socks, Calvin Klein ankle socks, <laughs> Yeezys, and white robes, and nut busting. Oh, that's what we're about. God damn, yes. Jokey jokes and busting nuts. That's what SNG stands for. It is, man. Um, so, guys, get in the comments and chirp the ting. Yeah, man. Find your partner um, and do your ting, okay? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Also, yeah, man. pause the video or the audio right now. Pause the episode right now. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs and sign up to the Patreon. It's going to cost you £3 a month. That's 10p a day. Run the P. Come on. And from there, guys, you're going to get a bonus episode every single Thursday. So you may have noticed when you're locking, why does it say episode 151 and then 153 and then 155? Where's 152? Where's 154? Where's 156? It's on Patreon, bro. <laughs> If it wasn't obvious, I'm saying it out loud. It's on Patreon, We've been bro. telling you it's on Patreon, guys. Every even episode is on Patreon. So head on over, patreon.com forward slash shits to gigs. It's £3 a month. And for that, that's a third of the price of Netflix. And you get an episode every single Thursday. That is. Every single Thursday, you'll get an episode. And that's when we get into the juicy juice. The juicy juice. And you also have the backlog of every single other Thursday episode we've Come done. Come on. Every other episode we've ever done. If you want to get into what better music are we talking about? What movies have we just watched? Tinder Swindler, what's that? Head on over, bro. bro we talk Pick loose your poison on there. game. What's going on we over talk there? Loose on it's there. loosey goosey. <laughs> it's like there's 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 no silencing. There's no there's, there's no cancel nothing. culture. There is on nothing Patreon. on there. There's no cancel culture. No silencer. No nothing. No bleeps. No boop. Yeah, nothing on there. None of that, bro. Um, no none of that conventional stuff. So head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits to geeks. Three pound a month. Ten p a day. Run the p. Let's go. And without further ado, guys, let's get into Fire Lord Fwags's Fun, Fun fact, fact of, of the, the day. day. Let's go. Come on. I'm gang, feeling gang, good. Gang. Um, so like I said to you before, this is a fun fact slash slash trash news. Love some trash news. Yeah. <laughs> Caption. Man left with chronic back pain, coincidental, after trying to suck his own penis. That will leave you with some back pain, fam. I don't doubt that indeed. My tummy tum would have nothing, <laughs> nothing good to say about that situation. My fucking ribs would... <laughs> They would crack so. Do you remember that? T- sorry to cut you off. Do you remember that rumor that Marilyn Manson had his lower yes, ribs removed? Yes, so I do. Yes. Is that true or not? We don't know. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows about him. That's an archaic rumor. <laughs> him and his agent are the only two people that know. Rags. Because it was a conspiracy for a while. Yeah. And he, he neither confirmed nor denied. He cracked on with his day. And if anyone's going to do it, it's him. It, it is Marilyn Manson. Hundred percent is it? Kanye will know. Because yeah. they, they, they were pally pally for a bit, Kanye. Oh, they? they were pally they were, pally for a little bit. We'll ask him when he comes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll ask him when, when he, he confirms, comes on. First question, did he remove his ribs or not? <laughs> yes or no? Because you know what we're talking about. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah, Before yeah, yeah. we can continue with what, what you're going through. Let's not name and yeah. shame. Yeah. Did he <laughs> take the ribs out or not? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when we know, you guys will know. So right, stay say tuned. Less. Anyway, caption. Man left with chronic back pain after trying to suck his own penis. The bloke opened... The bloke opened up in an eye-opening Reddit post about a man when he heard a crack during his, his latest attempt. Latest attempt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, go on, go on. Put in that one. He explained that this was certainly not his first time. He's tried to do the deed. And to be fair, loads of men will have tried it at least once. I am one of those guys that I never tried. Let me just put my hand up now before everyone asks. <laughs> I hope you guys done it too. 
The unidentified guy said every attempt has been successful. However, the most one, with, the most recent one, clearly didn't go according to plan. One day, as usual, <laughs> getting ready. This is quotations, by the way. As usual, one day, as usual, getting ready to do my thing. I did the stretches so I could be more elastic, you know? <laughs> he said on Reddit's today. He said, on, ah, he said on Reddit's today's page, I fucked up again or whatever. I was doing my thing until suddenly I heard a really bad crack in my back. At the moment I heard the crack, I had an immense pain in all parts of my back. Couldn't stand up. Couldn't even move an inch in my body. I literally felt paralyzed. Nah. Scary, bro. For a slot. Scary, bro. He said he was sitting on his bed for about 20 minutes until he started to get he started to get a bit of feeling back in his back. The guy dragged himself to the kitchen to get some pain medication and that improved his situation a little. But he's now been left with chronic back pain ever since. Obviously, they left the guy's um, anonymous, but this is the face they used. That's not him. It was anonymous. Oh, okay. It's an anonymous guy. But bro, man said one day as usual, getting ready to do my thing. Every, so basically, it's not far-fetched to assume that my man likes to slop his top every day it's not far-fetched to assume that at he's all. got the stretches down to a t he knows what he has to do to get the leverage he knows what he has to do to get the le- why would you even want to do something like that i don't fam i don't know why you want to do I, I don't know why anyone would want to do something like that okay question 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 on. question if you were a girl yeah and you had wenny titties would you suck your own titties no fam Obviously, you would because you hit no, no, me no, 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 no. the chest. But no, no, but when I say, I'm not talking like, like, try and get milk out of it, like, my man's trying to say. I know, you're thing. on about sexually. Just like, just like, a, like, you're feeling yourself, you're playing with yourself, and you're just like, mm. Because. To be fair, to be fair, guys obviously wank in it. Are you asking me? Of course, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> guys, I'm saying, of, guys, yeah, can rhetorical. Yeah, 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 yeah. So obviously, you do touch yourself to push yes, yourself. Yes. Obviously, for a man, I don't really... Your boy's tool is the only erogenous zone. Yeah, I'm, I'm that's, all, that's with, all we've got. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but obviously... Well, not necessarily, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not necessarily. <laughs> Disclaimer, not necessarily, yeah, but not necessarily. that's the only thing I yeah, like to... Only on weekdays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's the only thing I'm funking with. Yeah. But as a woman... Yeah. Um... If, Fre- if Monica and Rachel are correct, mm. you got like between seven and nine erogenous zones. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Titties being one of them. So, it, again, you might not be wrong. If I was a woman, would I want to get the, the, the teat involved? Mm. Maybe. I don't know if I'll be sucking it. Maybe a little squeeze and twist. Okay. I don't know. Sucking's a bit intense. I don't really want any part of my own body in my mouth in a sexual context. Mm. Okay. Does that make sense? It, of course, it makes sense because as a man, I wouldn't want it now. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, it's so biased because as a woman, it just seems sexier. It's sexy for me to see it, of course, but it's also sexy for me to know that they want to do it as well. True, you know. But True. then again, as a man, biased. But some women find it sexy as well. True. That's, that's why the I say thing. It's like you said, if you're a woman, I don't know what I do if I, if I was yeah. a woman because I'm not. Mm. That's the all thing. I know is if I was a man with tits, <laughs> they ain't going to my mouth. <laughs> That's all I know. All I can tell you is if I was a man with tits, they're not going to my mouth. <laughs> I promise you, you'd probably think different if you actually had tits. If I was a guy with tits. If you were a guy with tits, I think, and in a sense of guy with tits, like you have the full mechanisms of a female, of female titty. Yeah, I've well got the estrogen is flowing. Everything. Milk, tss, the works. Uh, but you've got a tool as well. I think curiosity will kill you one day. I don't think it would, bro. Don't I don't need, need it in my mouth. Yeah. You, I, fam, I know you raised your hand, but the way you're chatting, fam, have you tried to slop your top? Oh, God, no. Tell but, the truth. Um, <laughs> fam, you're chatting saying the curiosity will get the... I'm not curious about it. Yeah, I'm not talking about sucking my dick, though, bro. I'm talking about <laughs> tea. What are you on about? Fam, <laughs> we're talking about sexual something. Yeah, but I'm saying as a woman oh, or as a guy with tits as you would say but I was saying when I asked you the question if you were a woman would you want to suck your own tit I wasn't saying would you want to suck your own clit those are that's an equal that's more of an equivalent fair replica enough. if you fair know enough, what I'm trying fair to enough, say fair enough fair I'm enough I'm saying tit especially because it's closer that's why I fair said enough. titty okay as a guy I from, from what you're asking me right now I'm not curious bro fair enough I'm not curious in the slightest clearly you are and I think you I would think, do I it I think I would be very curious 
Oh, what okay. are you curious about? I don't know. That's the thing. I have no <laughs> idea. I have no that's idea. That's fair enough. Because I have, no, I don't have them, so I don't know. But I like because it's, it's the same way. Like as men, sometimes you just leave your hands by your balls, and it's very fucking oh, comfortable. It's comfortable. Same with women; they leave their hand in a tee, and it's very fucking comfortable. So I've heard. Yeah, but, but that's I, a hop, skip, and a jump I, between. Don't, don't get me wrong. I know that. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying because, like we discussed um, before, as straight men, our one zone is the actual tool like I'm, i couldn't care less about my arsehole do you know what i mean it's just the yeah. tool so but as a woman you've got like you said three four five six seven you never know t is one of them clits one of them arsehole's one of them you know they're different places so they've got more places to try and tease or explore to try and find a spot that's why i'm saying t because it's it's not you're not putting like fluids or liquids in your mouth or something you know what I mean? you're not excreting anything to put in your mouth yeah, it's fair just enough. it's just skin fair enough it's just fucking skin. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh man! And you suck titty now, so <laughs> yeah, I do. Next thing's titty, isn't it? Just ask. Next thing titty, but like I don't know, bro. I'm <laughs> saying a girl could put stuff in my mouth, and I wouldn't think twice. Yeah. Myself, I'm not gonna put my fingers in my mouth. Do you know what I mean? For what? Can you imagine? Can you imagine walking in me having a whack, and I'm like. <laughs> Fucking my fingers. First and foremost. First, first and foremost. foremost. Granted, you're not going to walk in with me having a wank. Granted, you're not going to walk in with me having a wank. But you never know, innit? <laughs> but that's the thing. What I'm saying is, if you did walk in with me having a wank, you're, when you walk out, the first thing you think is, was he sucking his fingers? Before you even think about what you just walked in on, you'd walk out and think, was homeboy sucking his own fingers? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'd lose my mind. <laughs> <coughs> I lose my That's mind. That's what I'm James. saying about the curiosity thing. Yeah, because skin is skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fingers are skin. If I'm banging a girl yeah. and then she just on oh my, I'm not think. I'm not thinking about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not thinking. Granted, that's not common. It's usually the other way around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying, mm. I wouldn't be thinking about nothing. Mm. But my own self, yeah, fam. Like, if anything's going in my mouth while I'm bashing off, it's confusing. Mm. It's confusing. So I don't. That's what I said when you said if I was a guy with tigs. Mm. Would I be curious? Mm. That's why my immediate reaction is no. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not curious about anything as it is. Okay. But like you said, I'm not in that situation. So you never know. Okay. But then again, I think we've spoken about this before. Mm. Wanking to me is a means to an end. Yes, we have. I don't like from the far, from when I'm, if I'm, if I'm on a solo ting fam, the fastest way I can get from zero to 10 is better for me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a mechanism thing for mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. I don't do it for the pleasure of it. Mm -hmm. I do it so I can think straight. <laughs> <laughs> Adam on Eve is how I get, yeah. is the pleasurable thing. Yeah, I yeah. do it so I can get on with my day. Yeah, yeah. Or get to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's tactical. Yeah, I don't do it for the enjoyment. Yeah. So that's, that's probably why I wouldn't be curious. Okay. But if I was into the whole pleasure side of it okay then oh yeah up, up, uh, yeah all sorts okay but i never know but um anyway tell me about your week i have no idea about your week tell uh, me about your week uh bro um i actually had a the thing i'm so annoyed because every time you ask me all i can think about it is work because I, know, that's, I know that's what i've come from yeah, yeah that's yeah. what i've come from on the weekend you know i actually can't remember what i did on my days off um but the weekend was very lackluster in the sense of I was expecting the week to be, or the weekend, sorry, to be so hectic at work because of the Valentine's weekend, blah, blah, Ooh, blah. Oh, yeah, don't think about that. But it was, it was so, it dragged, bro. Because there were so many couples of twos, obviously, it fucking dragged, bro. And it was just so boring, 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 boring. But nothing exciting really happened. Um, what, else, what else did I even do during the week? Um, saw the, um, I saw the halftime show for the NFL. Um, Super Bowl rather Saw the halftime show for that Which was really cool um, What else did I do? I trained Which was good I did shoulders one day And I did legs I only went twice last week Which was poor from me mm. I'm going to go four times this week Touch wood um, What else? That's annoying Because I generally don't remember bro My week Fair flies enough. by Fair enough bro There's nothing wrong with that by. There's nothing wrong with that But no I know there's nothing wrong with it But it's annoying Because I look forward to that question Every yeah, week. yeah, 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 yeah. And now yeah. I try to rack my brain, like, what did I actually do? Because I always forget. True. Always forget. So what did I do? We, well, yeah, we I was going to say, what did you do? on Wednesday or whenever it was. Yes, yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> tell you what I did. I forgot about that, actually. Tell you what I did. Mm. I went to sing, I went to watch Sing 2. I don't even know what that is. Sing, you know, the movie Sing, the animated movie Sing? 
No. You've never seen Sing, bro? No. Oh, my God. Sing, you've got Sky, right? Yeah. And you've got the movie package? No. All right, I had this. it. I took it off. All right, say this. Because <clears throat> um, I know it's on Now TV, which is mm, basically Sky. Sky, yeah. Um, Bro, Sing? <laughs> Talk to me, then. Sing? Okay, cool. Fucking hell. Talk to me, then. <laughs> Because to me, this is basically like trying to explain what Toy Story is. Okay. And I'm thinking, how does this guy not know what Sing is? <laughs> all right. I've, so, I think I've seen it. But all I'm right, not cool. seen it. Sing is obviously, so Sing is an animated movie. I don't know if it's Disney or Pixar or whatever, mm. but it's an animated movie um, where it's like an animal world, all different mm-hmm. animals, mm-hmm. but they're like humanoids, if you will. Mm-hmm. They live everyday lives. And it's basically a guy, uh, a koala called, ha- is it Howard Moon or something Moon? who is like obsessed with theater mm-hmm. uh, and obsessed with just like production and theater. And he wants to be super successful, like director mm. of like plays and musicals and all these things. So um, he sets up this singing competition of mm-hmm. a prize of a hundred grand and all these different people come together um, to take part in the singing competition. And they're all from like humble beginnings. So like one of them is like a gorilla whose dad is like a mob boss um one is like um a pig who has like three thousand utes and she's just like a house mom man said humble beginnings and said a gorilla that his dad's a mob boss um uh, one's an elephant but fam these men are like singer singers <laughs> yeah. like the elephant is tori kelly and she can sing yeah so bro yeah and they they do like pop like actually like real songs that okay. they're singing they're okay. not all like made up they're not all like um I know what you mean. Self-written songs. Mm-hmm. They're actually like proper songs. Bro, mm-hmm. the movie's live. Yeah. The movie's live, fam. Sing One is a movie. Do you know, that's how I feel about Have you seen the movie Inside Out? Yeah. Movie. Of course it's movie. a movie. Inside Out's a fucking movie, bro. That's like Sing. Sing's a movie. Fam, when the elephant does I'm her solo sweet. at the end, you'll get goosebumps. Really? She shuts it down. <laughs> let me let me Google this thing. She Keep shuts it down. down. So I watched Sing 2 and Cinema of the Day. Yeah. Buff movie. <laughs> Bang your sequel. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sleep on Sing, bro. You need to watch it. Stop it immediately. That's too funny, bro. Clay Colorway, Borsha Crystal, Johnny. Scott Joe's in it. Say swear. Mm. Mm. Letitia Wright's in it. Pharrell. Okay. From movie, bro. Okay. Sing is a movie. <laughs> you sweet me, Matthew bro. McConaughey is the lead? Come on, man. <laughs> you sweet me, man. Come on, man. All right, say less. Yeah, you need to jump on Sing, bro. Say less. I think it might be on like, Amazon. Do you have Amazon Prime? Yeah, I got Prime. Yeah, I think it might be on Prime. Cool. Pre it, fam. It's, it's a movie. <laughs> uh, you'll love it. You'll actually <laughs> love it. All right. All right, sorry, 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 sorry. But anyway, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched Sing 2. That's hilarious. Buff sequel. Yeah. Not as good as the first, but that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But it wasn't far off. That's important. Okay. It wasn't far off. It was good. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you either way, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What else did I do? That's hilarious. Um, I don't think I did much, bro. I don't think I did much. You need to watch. Uh, what's it called? Uh, that's so anticlimactic. Uh, what's it called? Um, I don't want to get the name wrong. That's why. All of us are dead. Fam, it's been climbing up the charts. I preached it at number two the other Patty day. Duncan. Swear. Series. Is it? I want episode eight and I think it goes to 13. Series. Okay, one thing I will say, because someone baited you out for this and I never got... Do you remember when we had the discussion when I said, Hellbound seems trash. I've mm-hmm. seen the first episode, mm-hmm. it seems trash. Mm-hmm. I'm getting frustrated. Mm-hmm. And you told me to carry on. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest. I haven't carried on, mm-hmm. but then someone put in the comments the other week, mm-hmm. yo, fuck, He's, he called me out. Mm. He called me out. Mm. Maybe he DM'd me or mm-hmm. whatever. Is it a message or a fucking comment? I can't mm. remember. And was like, James, fuck you. Hellbound is fucking shit. I watched the whole thing. It's fucking shit. And I was like, yo. Fuck you. Yeah, me. <laughs> I was like, what? I ain't even watched yeah. it. And <laughs> okay. I was like, yo, that was free ad. <laughs> don't, be, don't be out of my name yeah. in public. about well, fuck you. Yeah. So yeah. Are you sure this is good? I'm sure, brother. That they, people are entitled to their own opinion. <laughs> fair enough. First and foremost. Fair enough. Yeah. Whether they think it Hellbound was shit, fair enough. They thought it was shit. I thought it was a great show. Fair enough. But All of Us Are Dead is hands down the one, either the or one of the best zombie apoc- apocalypse shows slash movies I've ever seen. All right, so I, I'll, I'll watch it because I saw it on Netflix, didn't think much into it, 
and then the top 10 in the UK, whatever it says, it was number two the other day. And mm. I was thinking, when did it get there? When did it get there? That's, that's intriguing Fam, to man. They, what, oh, it's Korean. I don't know whether North of or South. Of course it is. North or South, but it's oh, Korean. It's, oh, first of all, fam, it's South. Mm. North Korea don't do production. <laughs> North Period. Korea are not <laughs> okay. a play. Yeah, South it's Co- South Korea. South, okay. I just would know it's Korean. I didn't want right. to make, make the mistake. It's not from yeah. North Korea. I'll okay. tell you that now. Okay. I'm still going to say it's Korean. <laughs> no, nonetheless, bro, these guys don't, what's the word I'm looking for? They don't downplay the action. Of course. There's no budget when yeah. it comes to action. All right, say less. There's yeah. no budget, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The way these men turn to zombies, the way, the poetry, everything about it, bro. Because obviously it's a, um, it's like an apocalyptic, everyone's turning to zombie, blah, blah, blah. That's the obviously basis of the movie. But the comedy in it, bro, the quote unquote romance in it, the little witty snide remarks in it they bring every genre in it even though it's based on this whole zombie thing the comedy in it is so quirky so quirky and so punchy straight to the point it's jokes i'm here for it it's jokes i'm here for it the action uh the way some of these men die close friends Yeah, yeah yeah say less say less fam Squid Game changed the wave in terms of allowing Korean shit to come through. I've been, I've oh, been, I've, I've been, been watching I've been Korean a fan shit. Of Korean shit. Yeah, obviously, yeah. I've been, I've been watching Korean shit since mm. I was a kid. Mm, I know but in you terms of just so, like, yeah. yeah, in terms of just like normal people, yeah, like, um, yeah, like Squid Game changed the game mm-hmm, when people true, are like, oh, swear true, down, true. because before if you'd run a Korean show yeah. on your general. For you page, mm. call it on Netflix. Mm. Anyone be watching that? But a lot of people. Well, I, I am actually assuming this, but I would like to believe, um, not like to believe, but I find it hard to believe that a lot of people watched the watch Squid Games in actual Korean. I'm pretty sure a lot of people watch it in English, Fair watch enough. it subbed, that or dubbed rather. That's, That's the annoying. reason why it, oh, fam. That's annoying. You, you need, <clears throat> you have to watch a show in the language it's entitled in. Yeah, 100%. You have to. That's the only way you can truly grasp yeah, what these voice actors portray. don't know what they're doing. It just doesn't pattern well. It's just like, ugh. Yes, yeah, uh, there's no other explanation, but ugh. It's shit. It's so shit. It's shit, bro. Yeah, bro. You you have to, you have to watch um, any show or movie in the language it was it was created in because yeah, you can't be. It brings that. It brings a different oomph to it. When you watch even it. though you don't understand what they're saying, just mm. like you can feel what can the, feel the energy yeah. they're trying to yeah. portray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could just read the fucking subtitles, man. Just read it. Just say you can't read subtitles. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, say yeah. you can't do both. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. we'll understand why you have it. Then I'll allow you. you we'll do allow you. Too, just yeah. admit it. I'll, okay, I'm going to start that tonight because I'm in the midst of not having anything to watch. Every and every episode is a minimum an hour. Juicy, wow. juicy, bro. And you're eight hours in. Yeah, man. Fair play. All right, I'll start that it's tonight. A good. That sounds show. good. That sounds good. All it's right, a bless. very good show. I'm not lie. Since I saw it hit number two, I was thinking, ooh. It's a very, 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 very good show. Speaking of Korean stuff, this has made me so happy. Since I told, I think I've probably recommended like three times, but every time we speak about Korean stuff, I bring up Old Boy. Mm. The amount of people mm, that have mm, messaged me mm, personally mm. saying that they watch Old Boy mm. because I told them to watch it. And how much they fucking love it Gang. makes me so happy. Gang. You've told me about Oh Boy many a times. First time in uni, probably. Yeah. Fam. I, need, I keep forgetting about it. Movie. I keep forgetting about it. Yeah. One of my top movies <clears throat> ever. I know. You say that all the time. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I, know I love it. I always forget. So many people have messaged me since we started this pod saying, fucking hell, thank you for searching Old Boy. Gang. What a movie. Gang. What a movie, bro. I never did this last week, mm. but I'm feeling this. Let's have another shot. I'm feeling it. I'm, I can probably handle one more and then I need to water up. <laughs> but I'm feeling this. That's what I love to hear. Yeah, if I'm, am I wrong? <laughs> you, know, it's a, you know when you're on a, you know when you're watching a movie and they're on a date? And they're like, I don't know, like, am I crazy? <laughs> Things are just vibing. Yeah, I feel like we've got vibing. a connection. Am I crazy? Tell me I'm crazy. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> am I crazy? <laughs> Oh shit, guys! As we said before, we're looking for a tequila sponsor. You know, it's been um, it's been something that's been on our brains for a minute. Um, if you guys know anyone or know anyone that knows anyone that knows us that would love to know us, hook us up, man. I um I spoke to uh, Charlotte the other day. Yeah, and I said it to her. Yeah, and then the only one on her books is P- Patron, and I said shout them in it, and she was like. <laughs> Bitch, please. She's like, come on, bro. Bitch, please. She's like, I'll bring it up. I was just like, <laughs> I don't 
So <laughs> Tron is basically Apple. They don't yeah. fuck with anyone. <laughs> They don't fuck with anyone. Shit. I was like, don't bother. To that shit fair. sells themselves. Yeah, they, they don't need they don't to pay me anyone. anything. They don't need anyone. The consumer market is there. Oh, 100%. <sighs> Ooh, we. You guys already know the Sip Sip. Yeah, man. Um, sip Sips. If you guys haven't tried a Sip Sip yet, let me know. I was. I said that thing to you about the feathers thing the other day. Yeah, yeah. I know you guys. Okay, here's the thing. <clears throat> the Sip Sip is a global phenomenon, all right? Yeah. Been, it has been for a while, but we a need to world. make sure it's not. A, <clears throat> I don't know if this is politically correct, but when I was a kid, we used to call it Chinese whispers. I don't know what it's called now. <laughs> yeah, but we used to call it Chinese whispers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds racist as hell <laughs> when you say it as a thirty-year-old man. Yeah. But back in the day, it used to be called Chinese whispers. Yeah. So, for lack of a better term, can't be a Chinese whispers thing, right? Mm. The other day, I was listening to the Fellas podcast, um, and they the only reason I was listening to that episode is they had Cole Anderson, my boy Cole Anderson, on their mm, show, mm, mm, mm. and. I said my boy, he has no idea who I am. But I anyway, they're my exactly boy, they're my you best mean. friend Cole Anderson on the show. <laughs> yeah. And they were talking, they were doing Sambuca shots. Yeah. And he was complaining about the the fucking taste that leaves in your mouth after mm-hmm. you do a Sambuca shot. And they got into the topic of tequila. Mm-hmm. And then one of the hosts was like, Oh, have you heard that rumor about swallowing a shot of pineapple after the tequila, etc. 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 He said, Oh, I just heard it. Like I don't know where it came from. Guys, if we're spreading rumors, we need to let them know where it came from, okay? Don't be embarrassed. It came from SNG. It did come from SNG. We're, we're the only pod promoting such things, cuz. <laughs> we've got a fucking t shirt that says tequila sip, sip for blood's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what so I mean? You need to be spreading facts actually. Actual facts, bro. Yeah. Just just say you saw us do it. You've heard about it through the grapevine. Big up SNG. Here's the shot. Yeah, man. And obviously, apparently, <laughs> Craig David started the thing. But that's hearsay. So what we need exactly. to do is get as many s- signatures <laughs> on, on our the, side on our side before this goes to court. <laughs> because we can't lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't have Craig David on, on this side, on the plaintiff side. Yeah. Chat, <laughs> chat and Pop saying that I team's his team. Nah, it needs to be over. So we need the signatures. Because I'm trying to TM it. Yeah, oh boy. Boy. I'm trying to TM it. And, that's um, all we drink. Yeah, yeah, that's all we drink. That's so, all we drink. Yeah, guys, <laughs> when you're spreading these rumors, don't say you made it up. Mm. Give us the credit. Yeah, yeah. And so we can TM the thing. Um, but anyway. Hopefully, oh, hopefully God. that pans out. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus. So, yes, Thank I will watch that show. Gang. 100% Good. I'll watch that Good. show. Let me know what you think. Let me know, guys, as well, in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, as per as well, tweet along with us. Um, hashtag SNG fam. At shits and gigs, join along in the conversation on Twitter. We're active. Yeah, Let's we're go. trying to stay more active on we're Twitter. We're trying now. to stay more active on Twitter, guys. So just join the conversation, join the fun. Hashtag SNG fam, and we go from there, mum. Let's cool, know man. what you think about the series. Um, also, actually, not even also. Segment time, sharp left turn, mm. Tinder chat. Oh, yes. Yeah, so and we didn't get to do this last week. We wanted to do it we last didn't, week. We didn't. But we, we didn't. ran out of time. Yeah. So a couple of weeks back, um, obviously, as we do every Friday, um, put a question on the app, uh, Instagram, and we spoke about funny slash corniest messages you received on a dating app. Had loads. We had a few laughs. But I've got a few more. So here we go. I'm going to go straight in with... What r- was the question? Oh, worst, sorry. You just said it. Yeah. Worst what? Funny slash corniest messages you received on a dating app. Okay, okay. Roses are red, violets are blue. We're having sex tonight because I'm stronger than you. (laughs) Wow. Indeed, brother. Wow. Indeed. When I read that, I couldn't believe it. It takes an interesting type of woman to reply and not block. (sighs) It takes an interesting type of woman to be like, Say less. So you, That's endearing. You have to understand banter. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you know what I mean? Balls deep in the jokey jokes. Balls deep. You have to understand. I don't mean this in the way the general public may deem this. Yeah. So yeah. less chit chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. this could go very left <laughs> or a quick right. Yeah. Just let 100%. me know what you're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. But the bravado to send that period next. Oh, you're buff. You're a Tinder swindler buff. <laughs> because you've yeah. you've had swipes. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm stronger than you, bro. <laughs> it's one of, you just have to blink twice. It's one of them ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, question. 
Have you ever been tasered at the point of orgasm before? Oh my God. <laughs> I can't even comprehend that sensation. Same. I can't comprehend that sensation. What a question to ask someone. I'll be petrified. Who are these people, bro? I don't, I don't bro. know, James. These are people that follow us. Nah, fam. These are people that follow us. Well, the, to be fair, they've received it, right? What do you mean? Yes, yeah, they received this question. Yeah, cool. Because yeah. they're not sending They're not these. the ones sending this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what they've received. That's what I'm saying. Who are these people? Oh, 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 oh. oh. These are, people that, are the people that follow us that are following, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the people that follow us that are following. Shut up. <laughs> it's true. That's what it is. Go on, man. For fuck's sake. <laughs> they said... This could be you and sent me a link of them fucking a sex doll. No, fam. Fucking I've said a this before, sex bro. Sex doll. Man, and the thing, you know what's concerning to me is, bro, uh, I know they're all guys, man. Uh, oh, 100%. They're all, <laughs> 100%. They're all guys. guys. And I'm concerned that I know these guys, but I don't know that I know them. Do you uh, know what I mean? Question. All right. What would you do? Let's say you've come to mine now. You know what my yard looks like, everything, blah, blah, blah. You come into my room now. For some reason, you're just having a look. Maybe you want to grab a pair of boxes, a pair of boxes, a pair of shorts, a sign. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You randomly open my cupboard and you actually see a life-size sex doll. I've not told a soul about this before. <laughs> a soul. You know me like you know your brother. Yeah. What do you do and what do you say? Oh, I'm pulling you in the room and I want an explanation. <laughs> I'm putting you in the room and I'm closing the door because I don't want anyone else to be yeah. exposed to this. And just talk me through it. Because I am assuming you're a sound mind and body. <laughs> so I want a logical explanation okay. Okay. of what's going okay. on. Okay. Let's say I do have the sex doll, right? Because I feel like this is an interesting topic. Because I've thought about, the, not necessarily the sex doll in itself, but male sex toys or anything in particular. Okay. You know? Because I feel like there's such a stigma when it comes to men buying sexual objects yeah of course but i don't understand why because it seemed it's deemed sexy if a girl has a vibrator or a rabbit or this or that yeah. or whatever but if let's say for example you were looking for something in my drawer and you found a fucking flashlight for example oh, fam. it's embarrassing it's a disgrace it's <laughs> not, not saying i've got i you know i don't have any of these yeah, things but I, it's like i don't know you don't, i don't know what you have but um I'll, i believe you disclaimer <laughs> yeah I ain't got a sex doll, yeah, I ain't got yeah, a flashlight. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, you yeah, know. Yeah, of course. Why, why is that deemed such a, not necessarily a negative, but such like a, oh, mm. why the fuck have you got these kind of things, you know? When a female can have the complete it's male great. version of the, I feel like it's just so, it's, it's a huge double standard. Oh, 100%. A huge double standard. 100% is like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It, it's, it's a weird one because there is obviously also the stigma that men are hornier. So you'd think it'd okay. be more acceptable mm -hmm. for men to have more things that relate to being hornier. Mm -hmm. But you're right. Like, it's just not, it's just not cool. I, think I don't it, think cool is even the word. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, I'm just spitballing. Maybe mm. it's something to do with the whole kind of, uh, how do I explain it? Like, being a, a man, with uh, relating a man to sex and the acts of sex with a man is very aggressive does mm -hmm. that make sense mm -hmm. like you're literally pushing shit yeah. in yeah. <laughs> it's very aggressive in nature yeah <laughs> even when it's loving and tender yeah. it's aggressive yeah but for a woman it's very non-aggressive i can't yeah. think of the word but it's very mm. non-aggressive mm -hmm. it's very gentle it's very mm. like do you know what i mean mm -hmm. like it's it's not hardcore because there's because yeah. the toys that you have for women, obviously, you can get like a big fat black dildo. Yeah. And that's like them things as well. Yeah, yeah. You can get like, oh, okay. <laughs> but that's the same thing. <clears throat> if you saw a girl with a rabbit, like a rabbit is designed to be cute mm. and quaint. Fit in your purse, them things. Yeah. It's, it's, it's designed to be very non aggressive. Yeah. But like, say, same thing. Even if you went in a woman's drawer and found a massive, huge dildo, same thing. You'd mm. be like, holy shit. I, I would be like, raw. That <laughs> yeah. would literally be what I said. I'd be like, Yeah, raw. but if you see a little rabbit or something like that, you're like, normal. You wouldn't think anything I wouldn't think, I, I would look at it, I would look at it and think, that's that's literally normal and then continue looking at what I'm trying to find. I'll keep rummaging. Yeah, I keep wouldn't rummaging. even pay attention to it. I would it. see it and be like, cool. Like yeah, like a, a little pen. bullet or something. I will just keep moving yeah. through. Whatever I'm looking for, I'll just keep going yeah. and get brushed past. But like I said, if you saw something that was considered aggressive, <laughs> like, like, you know, them, um, 
like the the mid rift of the of the sex dolls. So some there are sex dolls and there's there's just like the batty. There's some ones where <laughs> imagine you just a open porcelain a... little batty thing. The <laughs> and little... You just see your batty. Yeah, yeah. Batty are like bottom torso <laughs> and a little bit of quad. Fam, imagine you look under my bed or side. You just if I looked see under that... your bed and saw cheeks. No, fam. <laughs> We need to check because you're a buff guy. Do you know what I mean? You're a good looking guy. But, What's guy? But gal on? buff gal. But you get what I'm saying? Trust the me, stigma. I'm on your side, bro. Are you though? <laughs> I'm not saying I've got these things, but are you really on my side, bro? Because I need to ask the man them and I need to ask the gal them. Why is it such a huge stigma slash bias? <laughs> I'm with you, bro. Chat with us, SNG fandom, Twitter. Please, we need to know. <laughs> Because I'm it, it with perplexes you. me sometimes. Bro, I'm actually... Now I am on your side. <laughs> it perplexes because me. Because you're right. Because if I looked under your bed and I saw perky cheeks... Everyone would question me. 100%. I would be a fucking pervert. You'd be like, <laughs> go to jail, get out of my yard. I wouldn't want to see... All these random Fam. things would come to play. Erosenin, that's you. <laughs> Pervy sage. Bro, he that's wouldn't... you. No one would want anything. I couldn't walk into work, brother. Nah. Because you got cheeks under your bed? Nah, fam. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah... Yeah, it's it's dread. It's not it's a, fair. It's a dread stigma. It's dread. I don't know where were we in this, but <laughs> oh, we were doing we Tim stuff. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's not on, bro. It's not on. It, yeah, it said because I was like, um, sent me a link of fucking a sex though, and it just it went left. That's scary. It went left. That's yeah. scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it in a link in the first place? Link, <laughs> bro. He's posted this somewhere. ahead of time. Yeah, somewhere. This is on the dark Got web. Got the views and then sent it to you. Like pre that. Man's famous. Nah, stop that. <laughs> That's disgraceful. Oh, my days. All right. She told me she's got a man. Then said, but I cheat, though. So what's up? <laughs> Can you imagine? It turn me on. Bro, I hate. I hate that I have to I know, admit this. I know, it know, turn I know, me I know. on. It's, 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 it's backward sexy. <laughs> There's no other way to put it but backward sexy. <laughs> Because it is. It, is, it just is. I don't know how it's, to explain it's it. It's so frustrating that the way that, like, how do I explain it? That's another double standard. Mm, of course. Without a shadow of a doubt. Because I if a guy was there and said, I've got a girl, but I cheat, though. I cheat, though? So nonchalantly. You're, so what's you're, up? You're scum of the earth. <laughs> so You're scum of the earth. But so if a girl does up? it, every guy's like, fuck, Damn. that's sexy. You bite your lip like, fuck, I want a piece of that. <laughs> fuck, I want a piece of that. That's all you can think of. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It it's so unfair, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, Things, it is, it is. Oh, this biased world, it's getting to me. It's getting to me and I need answers. <laughs> it's getting to me and I need answers. All right, That's cool, all I'm saying. Cool. <laughs> a man asked if I would wear a strap on and peg him like the bad bitch that he is. <laughs> Like the bad bitch that he is. <laughs> Confidence. Indeed. Confidence. It's... Oh, no, no. Let me not kink shame him. No, no, no. Are you going to kink shame? I was going to kink, probably kink praise. No, I was going to kink praise, mm. but I was just going to say he'd have more luck on Grinder with that chat. True. True. But I don't think that's kink shaming, but I'm just saying that, yeah, as a whole... <sighs> Would he, if, though? Fam, if he went no, on no, no, Grinder. Okay, okay. And said, of fuck course, me like the course, bad course, bitch I course, am. Of course, of course yes. He's he would cleaning have, up. I, I take that back. Of course, yes, he would have a lot more um, success on Grinder. But I just, I need to understand. This is a lot of sex, by the way. It is. I but it's to, Tinder messages. True, it's going to be. True. I need to understand. Messages. Let me not be biased. How? No free brand deals. <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> no free brand deals under his breath. <laughs> I just need to understand the mindset. Because he's obviously not attracted to guys. Mm. My assumption. Yeah. He likes girls, but he also likes girls fucking him. He wants a fake pee-pee in his... In his ass, ass yeah. but he wants to also still bang a woman yeah. at, within the same session. Mm. So yes, We don't like know said, if he wants to do that. Yeah, we, yes, we don't. I'm assuming these things, I obviously. So. I'm assuming these things. Like you said, obviously, yes, he will clean up on Grinder. But would he want to clean up? On yeah, that's what I'm saying. He does. He definitely does. That's why I said, mm. let me not king shame mm, him mm. because just because he wants to get banged mm. with some like plastic prosthetic. Yeah, just because he wants to get 
like banged by a prosthetic, let me not go ahead and say my man's gay. Mm. That's why. That's what I meant by kink shaming him. Mm. I don't want to kink shame him. Fair. So I didn't want to say it. You forced. You forced my hand. So I did say it. Yeah. But anyway, it's not what I mean. Fair. But I granted, if he's bi, mm. then yes, he would clean up a grinder with that chat. Mm. But <laughs> yeah, man, that's tough. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. tough. I don't think he gets bare responses with that. I don't think he does. But some man don't care. Some man are in it for the numbers. True. If I message 500 chicks with this, at least one's coming back. More than one. Yeah. More than one. Ratio would be on your side. Yeah, ratio would be like, they're, yeah. they're willing to put in the work. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. if I want to have it my way, mm-hmm. let me just go quantity over quality. 100%. And then a few are coming Someone's back. Someone's going to come back to you. And if it, I'm not going to lie to you. If I'm him mm. and I'm saying, peg me like the bad bitch I am with this mentality mm. and out of those 500 someone actually comes back and says hell yeah mm. oh oh it's going off it's going off and I'm lubed oh uh, <laughs> I'm gassed <laughs> Fuhan, I'm gassed <laughs> it's worth the effort it's worth it the is. hours and it hours is. wasted it is it is it is fair play to him fair fucking play to him I've got no qualms about it. <laughs> Do your thing, sir. Do your thing. I think I just shat. I think I just shat and ruined my pants. Can I get into yours? Oh no! <laughs> I said, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> There's different ways we can yeah, finesse yeah. this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That needs to be draft one, <laughs> and then let's let's look at Shit it again. Ain't working. <laughs> yeah. Let's Literally, do something else. Yeah. Together we can make our fingers smell like all sorts of things. Yuck. <laughs> For fuck's sake, man. They're all guys, bro. Yeah, bro? They're all guys, bro. Can I use you like a bowling ball and bang you down an alley? <laughs> I already know. I can see the guy that sent this. <laughs> I can see him. A hundred percent. Wow. Ah, oh, UK dons are the funniest sometimes when it's <laughs> when it comes to sexual banter. Funniest. <laughs> they are. <laughs> After we bang, can I nut in my hand and slap you with it? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Bro, some of these guys are loose. <laughs> loose. Man said, you're like a cigarette. Both smoking hot and I want that butt in my mouth. Fair play. Fair play. Hopefully, Fair play. You, got, hopefully you got a couple swipes with it. Yeah, that. I reckon. I want to eat your ass so bad that I can taste your ex's bullshit. I've heard them things before. Dead that. This is one of these. This one actually, I posted when we did the thing, but I really like this one. On a scale of one to human centipede, how close am I to that ass? I think that's genius, fam. That's, that's banging. Genius. That's banging. That's genius, brother. Fam? I have to give you that. You point. have to message him back. That's... Human scent. <laughs> human scent. <laughs> because that's genius, fam. How close am I to that ass? One Donny said. Wow, you sound awesome. Is it bad that I wish you were my sister? <sighs> He's streaming on Twitch or something, fam. He can't, this can't <laughs> be real He's life. on Twitch. <laughs> that can't be a real message. This is a reaction thing. This is a prank thing. That can't be a real message. <laughs> because that then, does he... Want well, a, a young incest? Fam, I'm not your sister. So no matter what I say, <laughs> what do you want me to say to that? I just don't understand what response he's expecting. Yeah, fam. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what the best case scenario is. There is because no I'm never best gonna case. Be your sister. <clears throat> Fact. So what do, we, what do you want me to say? Is it bad that I wish it? Yes. <laughs> do you want me to tell you're bad? Like what, what's going on? Bro, I, I, I read that when I was like, I just don't understand, man. I just don't understand. Um, Every last single one. one has been a guy. Oh, 100%. Last one, guy. Are you, are you, are you looking for a builder? Because I'd love to smash your back doors in. <laughs> Standard guy. Guy. Yeah, rags, guy. Uh, but that's them, bro. Uh, they, I've had them on my phone for weeks. They're just sweet at me. The fucking roses are red, violets are blue. Uh, we're having sex tonight because I'm stronger than you. That is wild. <laughs> That's the wildest, one of the wildest responses we've oh, ever had. Oh, 100%. Wildest responses we've ever had. 100%. I couldn't believe it when I read That's that. That's different. Yeah, the banter has to be upper echelon to even be able to respond to something like that. 
That's what I'm saying. She, he's, he's getting Tinder swindler swipes. 100%. Because he's willing to lose. He's willing to risk it all. Yeah. All. Because there's a backlog of these messages. Somewhere at Tinder HQ or Bumble HQ. Oh, these men have seen, they're seeing fam. it as you're typing it, brother. As you're typing it, they're seeing it. It's archived somewhere. I don't know what the 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 data security is like. I haven't. I'll be honest. I haven't used a dating app in a long, long, long time. Same. I've never even. I've never. I don't know what Bumble's like. I don't know what Plenty of Fish is like. I, I don't know what. I don't know what Plenty. What else is that? Obviously, Tinder. I've been and used back in the day. There's Bumble. There's Plenty of Fish. I've used Tinder back in the day. Mm. I've never used Plenty of Fish, but. <laughs> Why am I just re- re- remembering? Who are God? Why God? Fuck's sake! Tell me. I bro. can't believe I've just remembered this. I didn't even think. I don't. <coughs> I would have died and never remembered this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. When I was a lot younger. Mm. I think this was probably... Do you remember when Catfish, the show, just yeah, came yeah. out? MTV. Years ago. On MTV or... It was MTV. Yeah, it was MTV. MTV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that uh, was on TLC, I think, or something like that. Some shit like that. Yeah, it was on MTV. It was first, either yeah. around then or maybe even before then. Yeah. Me and my brother signed up to Plenty of Fish for a joke. Yeah. Because we were kids yeah. and we thought it'd be funny <coughs> to just chirps like old divorcees. Okay. Um... This is how I know we we're young because we never interpret. This never happened, but I'm thinking about it now. We didn't even understand that like nudes were a thing. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So we were just on the computer. Mm-hmm. This is before we had laptops, phones, mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. We we're on the main household mm-hmm. computer. The PC. Signing up to plenty of what fish. What does PC stand for? Personal computer. Oh, cool. Um, signing up to plenty of fish to just chirps older women mm. um, for the fun of it. Mm-hmm. We thought it would be funny if we could get them to go on a date with us. Okay. So that we could see them. This is dread now. So we could see them in the restaurant by themselves. <laughs> oh, my God. In our heads, when we were young, we thought it would be funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop. Stop. As a th- listening to you say that as a 30-year-old man is the most dreadful thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I know. Divorcees. <laughs> you got their hopes up. They got wow. dressed, perfume, makeup for the first time in a long time. We thought it would be, this is fucked up. We thought it would be genuinely funny <laughs> to chirps old women to get them to meet us at a restaurant all dressed up so that we could look through the window and see them by themselves. Yo. Wow, that's so bad when I think about it. That's so bad, bro. But in our head, it yeah. was so funny. <laughs> I can see the joke mentality of it. I yeah, can. Fam, that's but as a 30-year-old man, at 31 fam, they now, say I can't. your brain doesn't fully develop till you're 21. Yeah. When I think about stuff like that, <laughs> it's so painfully obvious. Yeah, it makes that sense. That your brain is not developed. Yeah. You can't, you don't understand empathy. Yeah, you don't. You don't understand that people are going through shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. fucking funny. Yeah. Um, if we think a woman's actually here to meet someone and she's not here to meet yeah. anyone, in our heads, that was hilarious. <laughs> So we actually did it, and then but we also didn't realize how long it takes to build rapport with yeah, a stranger yeah. online. And then we started messaging like two to women, and we were like, "This is Lost. boring, yeah, 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 yeah. This is boring." <laughs> so we locked it off after like a day. Yeah. So that's the my only experience with plenty of fish. Mm. But I reckon I don't know. Plenty of fish is so classic. I reckon if you if you're just into banging milfs. Mm. Plenty of fish is the way to really? go. Really, I don't even know what it looks like. I haven't seen this since I was a kid, mm-hmm. so I don't know what it looks like now. Mm-hmm. But when I was a kid, <clears throat> if you just wanted like averagely looking forty-year-old women, mm. you could clean up on plenty of fish. Fair if you went on plenty of fish tomorrow, <laughs> and we're just looking for, like I said, average-looking divorcees, you're clean up. <laughs> you would clean up. Say less. Hundred percent. Say less. Tinder, obviously, I've been on years ago. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Bumble, I went on a short stint, and then I thought they were trying to hustle me. <laughs> because I went on Bumble, because obviously Bumble, the girl has to message you first, Yeah, so I've heard, yeah. 
But then there's Bumble Premium. Okay. Where you can see who swiped you or whatever. Okay. This was back a day again. Okay. This was probably like five, six years ago. Okay. But there, at the time, I don't know what it's like now, but Bumble Premium, mm. if you signed up to it, you could see who swiped you. Yes. If you haven't swiped yes, them or like whatever. Yes, like Tinder, Is that same Tinder, Tinder Gold or whatever it was yeah, back yeah, in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I remember I logged out. Mm. I didn't log in for like a month. I logged back in like a month later. Mm. And then it said, it literally said there were like 156 swipes. On Bumble. On Bumble. Okay. Sign up to Bumble Premium, Premium to see who they are. Mm. And I remember your, I remember your mum, <laughs> 156 <laughs> bitches. You're a liar. You're a liar. Because <laughs> back then I wasn't getting swiped for shit. 156 <laughs> bitches. <laughs> That's I was you were lying through your teeth, yeah, bro. You just want yeah. me to pay for the tip. Yeah. You're a liar. <laughs> so I, I cancelled the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, Thinking yeah. Thinking back in it, they maybe weren't lying. Yeah. Because once I did pay for it, mm. I would be expecting my 156 hoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, maybe they weren't lying. Yeah. Then maybe there was 156, but yeah. I remember specifically 156. 156. Because I remember seeing it at, at work. Mm. I was working in Milton Keynes at the time. And I remember seeing it at work and I said to my colleague at the time, I was like, yo! <laughs> This one I'm saying there's 156 women trying to fuck. <laughs> they must be lying. And he agreed with me. He was like, no, the chat is shit. They just want your money. And I was like, I did that. I'm not paying for this. So I locked off Bumble. <laughs> oh, my days. That's too funny. <laughs> it's, it's crazy that, obviously, yes, these are dating um, apps or whatever. It's crazy just how we associate it with sex straight away. <laughs> because in my head... They've only seen my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what else could you be after? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you only know my physique. Yeah. You don't know anything else yeah, about yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has to be based on physical attraction. Yeah. Has to be. Yeah. Because my bio was plain. Oh, my, I kept my bio niche. <laughs> Very small. Unless we were getting into a report, you don't need to know much about me. Yeah, If you yeah, swipe yeah. right, it means you want to bang. Yeah, That's yeah. That's all it means. Yeah. Fuck. I remember, speaking of um, premium... I remember when Tinder tried to do their thing. Because I remember back in the day, I think it was called Tinder Gold or Tinder Plus. I can't remember. But it was cheap. And I used to have it. So you could swipe. I, I had You it. can reverse. Uh, so obviously when you swipe. I did have it. It was also, cheap. Yeah, you can reverse It was like back a tenner well. for the year. Something stupid I did like have that. it. Something stupid <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. Cheap as chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less than a pound a month. Yeah. Something dumb like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can reverse. <laughs> You can see who swiped for you and pre them first, and then you can swipe if you wanted to. Blah, you can blah, change blah. your location. You could do bag of things. You, you could change your location. Fam, when the last time I was on it, because I think there were periods of time where I deleted it, downloaded it, deleted it, downloaded it. I think the last time I had downloaded it, they were coming with like sixty pound a month. What? Sixty something or day shush, bro. No, they weren't. Mother James Mother's Life. I couldn't believe what I was reading. I couldn't believe... I think it's called Tinder Gold. I couldn't believe what I was reading. <laughs> That's impossible, fam. What you, can you do on there now? I, fam, I don't know. And can I don't, you force I, these women to I love me? I don't care. I don't fucking care because they're criminals. Bro, wow. I couldn't believe... They were charging P for, to do the same thing they were doing seven years ago. Nah. Charging P. Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You're, you're off your fucking head if you think I'm doing that. Just to see who swipes right for me. Nah, I don't care that much. And just to do a young reverse. I couldn't believe it, bro. Nah, that's disgraceful. That's disgraceful. Couldn't I'm not doing it. that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing <sighs> that at all. Um, bro, that was, that was long. You know what irks me about, um, again, double-edged sword, mm. is that like, <clears throat> because girls on dating apps receive so much, Yeah. Mm-hmm. they get frustrated when a guy doesn't come with anything original. Yeah. They hate when they say, I'm not speaking for all girls, obviously, mm. but some of the girls I'm speaking to, they're just like, oh, I just hate when they come with something generic, like, hey, or mm. what are you up to? Mm. It's like, hit me with something original. Mm. But it's like, but you need to understand that you want it to be original because all you get yeah. is a hundred guys saying the same shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he has to send this same message to a hundred girls. Mm. It's not just you, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Bear girls. Yeah. So you're bored of it because you are seeing it from 100 guys. Yeah. Trust me, he's bored of it because he's, he's sending it to 100, 100 girls. girls. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. So even if you think he's being original, mm. he's still copying and pasting that to 100 yeah. girls. It's never going to be original. Mm, mm, mm. So next time we ask you what you're doing, just answer. Because <laughs> maybe he actually cares. Yeah, true. Because even if, even if it's the most original thing you've ever read, trust me, he's copying and pasting it and sending it to everyone. Mm. So don't get gassed because he's come with 
Some roses are red, violets are blue. Fucking, I'll rape you some. Some. <laughs> Basically, whatever the fuck my man said. That disgraceful chat. We're having sex tonight because I'm stronger than you. <laughs> yeah, like, he, whatever he says to you that you think, oh, that's quirky, mm. he sent it to everyone. Mm. It's a very well, it's in his notes. 100%. It's 100%. a very wa- well thought out icebreaker yeah. that he's put in his notes because yeah. he knows he has to jump through these dumb hoops. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's annoying. I actually like the fact that speaking of like dating apps and stuff, obviously you said on Bumble, I've never been on it. Like they have to let the woman holler you first. You said you were on it before, right? Mm. What was your experience on it in terms of, in comparison to Tinder? Because obviously with Tinder, women would wait for a year before they holler you. What pains me to say was back then, what my experience was, it was exactly the same. Okay. I feel like women swipe with more chest on Bumble because they know you can't pester them. Mm. So I, from all that the swipes so I got, sense. from all the swipes I got, <clears throat> hardly any of them message me. Mm. And there's nothing you can do until they message you? No. Wow. I just sit there and wait. And it could be so a So you can say you got a match it with could a banging be a team. badders as well. Fam? I got. I remember. I got a couple of matches from banging things. <sighs> Never message me because they don't have to. Because a lot of girls just go on dating apps because they're bored. Yeah, for and for um self um just like an ego uh, stroke ego. Thing. That's the thing. Yeah, because they're bored, bro. Because they've already got man in their DMs anyway mm, with mm. blue ticks galore. Mm. If they're banging enough, mm, mm. they don't need this. They don't need Tinder. Mm. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. But anyway, moving on. Um, I've got an Am I the Arsehole. Hit me. And then we will wrap it up. By the way, I'm watching Afterlife. I'm on like season three. That's good, isn't it? Dope show. Dope show. The comedy in it is amazing. The, that first scene in the, the school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, the pedo thing? Hilarious. Hilarious, but it's tough. The whole thing, the whole thing is tough. <laughs> oh, it's the dread, fucking it? psychiatrist is fucking funny. Which one's that? The, the psychiatrist. Who plays him? I don't know his name, bro. It's just the bearded brother with the glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Man sits like this all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember, <laughs> I remember. He's just remember. living that life. I remember, I remember. I remember, I remember like, Why I remember. do you come up with, with me and the boys, you know, ratty and the nonce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember, I remember. Waste, man. Funny. <laughs> Funny, bro. I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. <laughs> I remember. Anyway, go. Um, okay, cool. This is a different one. I like this one, right? Gang, I love different ones. So, am I the arsehole for keeping a lost pet until the owner paid the rewarding fee that was advertised. Okay. Fair enough. Fam. I'm intrigued already. Same. I'm intrigued already. That And the good thing <clears throat> is that that's all I've read. I haven't read the rest of it. Okay. That's okay, all okay, I've read. Okay, okay. I'm very intrigued. All right. Uh, there was this cat that kept coming on. Um, <laughs> sorry, man. There was this cat that kept on coming to my garden. It, would con- it was con... Oh, wow. He, he, you know what's funny? He double messaged. What do you mean he double messaged? He messaged the whole thing mm-hmm. and then he messaged the whole thing again. Oh, God. And then he messaged a third time saying, I read through it. There's mistakes. <laughs> I'm experiencing that now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're reading the first one, not the second I'm one. I'm reading the first one, but okay. I don't know if the second one is a correction or if he just put it twice. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let me go to the second one. Just in Nope, he ain't corrected nothing. <laughs> I can see already, he ain't corrected Say nothing. Less. Say less. Right, okay, let's start again. Am mm. I the asshole for keeping a lost pet until the owner paid the rewarding fee that was advertised? Okay. There was this cat that kept on coming into my garden. It was constantly coming throughout the day, but it would just leave when it was dark. I'm trying to read slow so I don't get fucked up yeah. on these, these issues. A couple of days later, I saw a poster saying about a lost cat, which looked identical to the cat that had been roaming around in my garden. Mm-hmm. A few days later, I saw the cat again in my garden and I was able to grab it easily as it was very friendly. Mm -hmm. I called the owner and said that I found the cat from the advertised poster that had the reward. They seemed very happy and said that they were able to come and collect it the same day. When he came to collect the cat, I mentioned about the £500 promise. £500 is a healthy reward. £500 promise for the reward for finding the cat. The owner said that there wasn't any reward money as it was just to get people to find his cat. Okay. Say less. <laughs> okay. I we have said, an issue now. Yeah, yeah. We now have an it's issue beef. Now. It, we've got beef. We've got beef and I've got a cat. Unnecessarily. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Because I will shot your cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sell your cat. Continue. I said that I wasn't going to pass over the cat until I get the reward money that you promised on the poster. He got really angry. Ang- angry? <laughs> angry. Mm. Um, and threatened to call the police if I didn't hand over the cat. Oh, better call him. Call the police. Call him. Let's settle this. This was your advert. Fam, we've got a contractual agreement. <laughs> if I find the cat, run me pee. 
That's it. Uh, if I, don't know, I said that he was welcome to call the police as I was okay with everything going on paper if he decided to claim against me, gang. I also said, why promise something if you aren't able to pay it? Mm-hmm. He left and said he would come back later. The night came, he returned with the money and I happily handed over the cat. And that was that. At the end of this, I decided to tell my girlfriend, but she wasn't happy about what I did by taking the adva- advantage of the situation as it didn't cost me anything to find the cat and uh, it wasn't right by demanding the money. I also mentioned it to one of my friends and he just laughed about the situation and said that the reward was there to be taken and I was okay in, cl- okay in claiming it. Mm-hmm. Am I the asshole? No. I'm with the brethren on this I'm one. I'm with the brethren. No, you're not the asshole. You can't be advertising certain things. It's not like he went searching for the cat, blah, 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 found it like he took his time, whatever. No, the cat was stumbling in his garden day after day after day, night after night after night after night. Big man, I found your cat. I stumbled across your poster. It says five bills for this cat. Belled you. Big man, I got your cat. Bring the pee. Exchange. We can part ways. It's transactional. It's literally transactional. Because if there was no poster, that's the thing as well, is that it, from my perspective, the, the 500 pound was probably what alerted his attention to the poster. Of course. If because the poster if it was, was just a blank, picture of a cat, he wouldn't care. He would have walked past it and maybe wouldn't have even put two and two together he would that never. this cat running in his garden is the same fucking cat that's on the poster. He would never. But if I'm seeing posters saying, have you seen this cat? Five bills? I see five bills and I'm running back to double check the cat's eyes to make sure they match. Oh, 100%. Do you know what I mean? 100%. So, 100%. Yeah, if you're going to advertise, it doesn't even matter because I don't owe you shit. I don't owe you a penny. You lost your cat. It's not my fault. So yeah, if you're advertising five bills, because at the same time, I'm sure, I can't speak for this guy, I don't know what kind of personality he has, but your everyday citizen, if they did notice the poster mm. without the reward mm. and saw the cat, I'm sure that they're going to be the kind of person says, I'm sure that's the cat from the poster. Mm. I'll send it back. I know I would. Mm. But same way, if there was no reward and I found the cat, I would still give the pa- cat back. But if there is a reward, don't you dare tell me <laughs> It was just a, it was just a ruse, mm, just to a ploy make to, people... to make people find my cat. Yeah, no, excuse me, no, you lost your cat. You can't trick people like that. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, That's a scam. That's actually a scam. Yeah, you're scamming people to get people to do your work for you. You're scamming people. I, you're basically saying I need more eyes doing my job for me. I've lost my cat, and it's my job to find the cat. I need help finding the cat. So let me trick people into doing what I want them to do, and once they've done it. Then I'll get what I want. That's fucking free labor. That's what he's done. Imagine, yeah. imagine you, you that sent the thing or whatever, the, the person that lost the cat. Imagine you going to work and your boss tells you, oh, you got to stay four hours later this week. We will pay you though. Yeah, double time. You, double time, we will pay you. And you're like, fuck it. All right. You come home, you see your paycheck on Friday. They ain't paid you shit. And like, oh, we just gassed you. Yeah, I just needed the work I done. I just needed the work done and I didn't know how else to get it done without saying I'm going to pay you, man, more. Take it or leave it. Oh, you're going court. Exactly. You're so going court. Big man, you have to run the five bills. 100%. You have to. Yeah, you can't, you can't do that to people. You can't do that You to physically people. can't do that to people. So yeah, 100%. As soon, even if I wasn't bothered about the 500 pounds. It's the principle. It's the principle that you just told me. Oh, I don't have five bills. I just needed people to find the cat. 100%. You're giving me, you're giving me, you're the, giving five me the five bills. Or at I'm least. shot in your cat. Oh, 100%. I'm shot in your cat. That's it. 100%. You're not the asshole. You are not you are the arsehole. You are not the arsehole, You're not the arsehole Nowhere bro. near the arsehole. He's the fucking arsehole. Yeah, he's an arsehole for fucking lying. Standard. <clears throat> Standard. But anyway, that's that was a very that. good amount of the arsehole. Yeah, we haven't had... Okay, they're usually about cheating boyfriends yeah, yeah, and all yeah, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, yeah yeah, 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 We haven't had an original one of that in a minute. That so thank you for that, bro. Yeah, um, but guys, as always, happy to have you here. Enjoy the rest of your week. Get on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs and join us on Thursday. Um, and as always... If you're a bitch, then we'll see you next Monday. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Love, love, love. Gang, gang, gang.